boys, what is the greatest content to watch? In my opinion, it's speedrunning. It's the foundation of Twitch streaming as a whole. It honestly blew it up into a, what it is today, if you look at twitch.tv. And it's something that I enjoy not only to watch, but to do. And I had my moderators accrue the greatest speedruns of all time. And today, we're going to watch them. And we're also going to rank which speedruns are the most fun to watch. Uh, we have a bunch here. Super Mario 64, Getting Over It, Minecraft, all the classic speedrun games, as well as some new ones. Anyway, let's get to it, boys. Uh, all right. First one I want to take a look at is the Getting Over It speedrun. This game has changed so much. The fact that people are able to beat this game in a minute and two seconds, this guy got the world record six days ago, blows my mind. Dude. It's so smooth. You know one of the great, one of the great reasons why this is fun to watch is because you can tell every time they up like no matter how new you are i could you can tell like right here right here he up you can just tell you don't have to have played it for a second of your life you can just tell ah you idiot <laughs> you fucked up <laughs> you did it twice you're shit <laughs> it is a damn good run though dude imagine his arm how do you get your right arm that powerful? Wait, according to this, sub one minute is super possible. 52 seconds is possible. I mean, that's almost impossible, but but sub minute should be super doable. Uh, let's take a look at another one here. What? Among Us speedrun default tasks. <laughs> no, dude. There's no way. This is a thing? Wait, all maps? Now I'm intrigued. <laughs> he walks so fucking slow. Good line, good line, cut right. Nice. He fucked up the first... This is the world record mods, are we sure this is the... He fucked up the first one. He missed the bag. Okay, bad RNG, bad RNG. I don't know, I don't know how he got away with that in a world record, but... This is so slow. This is the least impressive speed run I've ever seen in my life. I feel like I can beat this. Like, I I want to try to... Some speed runs you watch and you want to try to beat it. This is one of them. Oh, good RNG. Actually good RNG. 03287. Wait, didn't you miss the zero? How, wait, what? You can skip the zero? Oh, there's skips in Among Us? You can do a zero skip? Yo! I didn't realize that existed. 43 seconds for Mira, because he had no tasks in the top left. Wait, wait, what? He didn't do it! He just closed it and opened it. <gasps> Whoa! I'm starting to believe he is the greatest speedrunner of all time. Hey, all right. Fair enough. You know what? I was impressed by the end of it. Uh, what's another good speedrun? Wait, you can beat Ocarina of Time in 3 minutes and 41 seconds? In the Super Smash Bros. Brawl demo? What the fuck does that mean? So Super Smash Bros. Brawl has a demo for games, and the max amount of time you're able to play is 5 minutes. And save state beats it in 3 minutes and 45? Okay. Somehow they... S they jumped over with a bomb thing. To go into the lost woods. Use the bomb that you're holding to explode as you fall. To catch a fish? What the hell was, what the hell is happening? Lost like a second here. What the hell just happened? Why'd you lose a second? Why is the fish going away? Why did you just drop what are you doing? This is terrorism! You can't just leave bombs in the woods and run away. Hey, 
What is happening? How the fuck? How the fuck does anybody know this? How do you know this? How does this become acquired knowledge? It's my PB. Nice. What? Oh, that's, a good, that's a good run. That's a really good finisher on the run, too. This is why... Okay, maybe this is a hot take. This is why I don't like watching Zelda speedruns anymore. I feel like Zelda speedruns have become this game where you have to do memory storage, and it's and it's messing with the code of the game in-game, and it requires a floor of knowledge to be able to appreciate what runners are doing in real time, and it's very uh, inhospitable to brand new viewers. Like, okay, let's let's watch let's watch the Super Mario 64 16 star speedrun right off the back of that. Because I actually think this is one of the easiest games to appreciate Whoa. as a brand new viewer. But the movement is just so speedy and crisp. I've never once successfully done that jump. Just that jump. The amount of time that it takes a human to get this good at this game is, it's like, oh, it stresses me out. So far, I haven't seen any single thing that I'm like, ooh, that was a fuck up. And I'm a decently knowledgeable Mario speedrunner. More than the average casual. His reaction's loud warning. Alright. Alright, let's see. Yeah! That was loud. Yeah! <laughs> I'm okay. What is he doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm okay. okay. Uh, Alright, what else do we got? Any juicy things? Minesweeper takes 28 seconds to beat. I don't believe this. How? It's just patterns, dude. Fuck you mean? I I like I know how to play Minesweeper. I've beaten Minesweeper before, but the speed. I, it's no Among Us speed run, but holy shit, this is insane. Yeah, I, I don't get that. That was insane. That was insane. That was insane. That was crazy. I'm still shocked at that. I'm reeling. You know what everyone keeps saying is a fire speed run? Celeste. You know what the problem with Celeste speedruns is? It, the the speedrunners are so fucking good, they just make the game look easy. I'm looking at this, and the only thing I'm thinking is like, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, you just kind of jump. Like this, I, I could do. That's easy. This is just like a little maze. Do it. Ah, I'm busy. Okay, what's, what's another one? Wait, 10 seconds? What the hell is... What the hell was that? That looked like CSGO surfing. That's insane. I would actually love to watch the real Titanfall 2 speedrun sometime. All right. Well, I kind of want to look at Dark Souls. Because, like, Dark Souls is one of the hardest games I've played. I beat it in 35 hours, I think. How do you beat it in 19 minutes? I just don't, un I don't understand. I can't wrap my brain around that. I want to see how much of this I can remember. I remember spawning down in this area, and then my controller didn't work. So it took me about 13 to 15 minutes to get out of there. I like how it's a 19 minute run and a minute of it is running a a around a hillside. Oh, you got to run past this guy. Yes, sir. I'm pretty sure I also ran past these guys. I'm speedrunner too. How are you here? Oh my God. The fucking demon from this is the end that fucks you. You just can't, you, you just skip them. Don't you have to go to like Blytown? Is this Blytown? This place is hard. What? Dude, I fell uh, so many times and it didn't work like that when I fell. The gargoyle fight I know is hard because there's two phases. So at the very least, you have to kill the first gargoyle. That fucker, that fucker right there, this son of a bitch, took off years from my lifespan. I tried so damn hard to just run by him like this guy's doing. And then the stairway gets clogged. I don't, okay, that's one way to do it, I guess. What? You one shot it? No, I don't give a fuck what the halberd is. There's no way that's supposed to happen like that. 
we have been watching for a while. We are at 15 minutes. How are you supposed to beat the game? Like, this is kind of like when you're watching a movie and you realize you've been watching for like 90 minutes and they haven't wrapped up any of the plot points. And you're like, how the fuck are you expecting to do that? Orstein and Smo. I, I, I'm I pretty sure you want to kill the small guy first. Because the, the big guy's he's so fucking slow. No! This halberd is broken! I, I'm getting upset watching this. I think I just want to watch somebody suffer. <laughs> I think I... I think I just want to watch somebody in pain. Because this guy is going through it so easily. And, I, and I'm trying to reminisce on my pain. And it's not... Wow. 19 minutes in 29 seconds. 31 seconds in game time. That is a crazy speedrun. You know what's crazy? Actually, this is a new speedrun. Super Q just DM me this. It's the Pogo Stuck 3 speedrun. This is the new map that took me about 12 hours to beat. I haven't seen it since playing it. So I kind of want to take a look. This thing is sick, riding the frog. What? I didn't know about that. I've never gone down the cum pirates. I always thought they were slower. I don't even know how to get through the cum pirate part. No way. No way, you're sick. Is this task? No, this is a human and they're not the world record holder. <laughs> this is second place. Oh, this is the route I take. Wow. This is crazy. Wait. Jesus Christ. That was nuts. That was shit I never seen before. Sekido. All right, let's take a look. What do I want to eat as a snack? Imagine the speed one. Speed run world record. You're like, what do I want to eat as a snacky? Little honey bunches of oats action. <laughs> if I had to peg this guy, I'm, I'm satisfied. Like maybe not. Super I should healthy, rephrase that. Probably. If I had to guess bit. who this guy watches, I would assume small like, end. You, you think? And then it's not. How is that the same thing? It's a, it's a phrase. I'm gonna He's peg you down. Three. Crazy. <laughs> I'm wording it weird. It's a phrase that people use where they're like, "Hey, let's go." I I'm gonna peg you tonight. <laughs> if I had to, if I had a dollar for every time I I pegged who your favorite streamer was. Thank like, you for actually going crazy. I, I could I could peg down who you I could Appreciate peg down who you guys like watching. And I need it right now. I'm it's sucking. a. Don't call me Pegler. <laughs> you know what I like about Sekido is just the fights yeah. look sick. It looks like a Naruto fight. Which maybe is just ignorant to say, but, you know, the animation is what I mean. As opposed to, like, if it was a One Piece fight. Where it'd be like this. Jesus! Okay, we're way ahead. No! I can't believe that we actually got it. You're gonna die! Oh my god. They all so suck. Late. I thought I didn't get it. Holy oh, shit! Spooky. This is some Ocarina of Time shit. It just didn't feel like that got a run because that double canyon was. Gross. You're s why are you still f swimming? You're in the air. How is he supposed to beat the game in four minutes? I feel like all he's done is swim, is you run, stop? and beat oh, one god. boss. Oh my god. There's so much. I, it's I'm, happening, dude. I, I, I literally just need to not fucking choke. I, I thought this game was gonna be less scuffed than Dark Souls because it's a newer game, and that they would have had it like be so polished that you can't skip it like how degenerately you skip through Dark Souls. But it's the same. It's always satisfying that he finishes the boss fight with the absolute okay, max it's meter. So slow. Like the absolute max I think meter we you can actually have. Actually, maybe. Maybe miss sub-1950. I don't know, dude. Wait, that's the end of the game? It was so slow. Good run. I guess we could end on Minecraft. What? What is this? Yo, does he open nine maps at once and then pick one to actually play through on? Wow, that's smart. What is he looking for underwater? I guess just coal making another portal. 
This seems slow. Oh, never mind. What the fuck? When did it finish? I didn't think he finished it. So he's going 30 FOV. And then looking at some shit in here. I don't know what the fuck he's looking at. The, maybe the, ch the chunk of cash. He's looking at the quantity of monsters in that direction. So that way he knows which way to run in the nether. It's kind of an interesting strat. Oh, what are you doing? Wait, why doesn't the gravel fall? Soul sand first, then gravel. <gasps> he made that seem like such a light work. Dude, look how many mobs there are. Holy fuck. It's crazy he's going to beat the game in the next three minutes. All right, got six and he's ending. Oh, he's portaling out. He has five eyes of ender now. Oh my god, okay. He's using an external program to exactly pinpoint how far he needs to travel and then using the nether to cover that distance quicker because the nether, obviously, you can travel more blocks faster, like to, to, to eight degrees or something. So it's just a calculator. Oh my fucking god, dude. That was fucking crazy. Okay, how many... He's got three beds, which is not enough to kill. Oh my fucking god, dude. Fucking, oh my fucking god, dude. Holy shit, dude. Oh my fucking god. What's a respawn Holy anchor? Shit. Why does that do damage? Is it just the same concept as a bed? Dude, that's a crazy fucking speedrun. That's crazy. Anyway, that was fun. I like looking at speedruns. We'll watch some more in the future, guys. <laughs>